When I was young and in my prime, a lad of 17, I worked in the village tavern where I kept the glasses clean. And late at night when the men got tight, my listeners, they began to tell the stories of the wondrous glories of a man called Charming Dan. He'd been a preacher and a teacher, an explorer and a cook. He'd played the spy in Shanghai, been written in a book. He'd fought with the rebels at the Khyber Pass of high Afghanistan, and they'd all agree they'd rather be the man called Charming Dan. He'd sailed the seven seas from Singapore to Timbuktu. On a freighter to Australia, he was boasting for the crew. He had done everything a man could ever want to do. He scaled a mighty mountain. That man do. And then one night when the moon was bright, you see I remember it well. Old Dan came in that bar room, you ought to see the hell he raised and how they praised him. Shouted to a man, how they trade their lives, their kids and their wives, to be like Charming Dan. He'd been a gunner, a rum runner, a bounty hunter and a scout. A musketeer, a buccaneer, a roving roust about. He'd been left to die in the desert by the Sultan of Iran. It was hot as Hades, but all them veiled ladies chuckled Charming Dan. He'd sailed the seven seas from Singapore to Timbuktu. On a freighter to Australia, he was boatswain for the crew. He had done everything a man could ever want to do. He'd scaled the mighty mountains of Kathmandu. But it was almost done when the men were gone. And old Dan was there alone, with his head down on the table, he was mumbling and moaning. He called me over to his side, he lifted up his head, and if I lived to be a thousand, I'd remember what Dan said. Don't chase someone else's rainbow, my son. Don't play someone else's part. Cause God only knows what goes on in someone else's heart. It's as clear as a nose on your face, he said, as he staggered into the night. You don't have to climb the mountain to see the sunlight. He'd sailed the seven seas from Singapore to Timbuktu. On a freighter to Australia, he was boatswain for the crew. He had done everything a man could ever want to do. He'd scaled a mighty mountain.